Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to set up communication, database, and printer profiles in runtime. It's often common to have to change the IP address or port of the defined communication profile. Instead of doing it in the designer, you could have a form where you configure that in runtime. Calypso already has a wizard who creates the form for you. Just click the small arrow at the right of the form button and select, for instance, communication profile. Select the profile that you want to be configurable. In our case, you're going to select TCP. And here we can select which parameters of the profile we'll be able to set. Let's unselect them all and just leave port and server. Press OK. And the form is automatically created. When the form opens, Calypso loads each parameter we've selected from the specified communication profile into the control. When the user presses the Save button, we set the parameter to the specified value. So all we need to do now is to create a button to open this new form. Let's place it in the config form so we can simply drag it. Oh, sorry. My bad. Let's put it OK. And now drag the form as we want it. Just edit its text. OK. So let's try it out. So I'm going to log in, config, config communications, and we can see the same values that were inputted in design time. Of course, if we change, for instance, the port, communication will stop working because MIS communicator isn't set up to listen to port uh, 8001. But let me just save, exit, go, for instance, to customers. Unable to connect to host. We have the Diagnose 2. So you can't connect through that profile. So you cannot ping MS communicators through that profile. Of course, if we set it back, and try it again, everything works as expected. The only wish issue with this feature is the update of the project. I'm going to change that behavior so that when we run the project, everything works as expected. So just to exemplify, I'm going to run the project again. Log in. I'm going to put 8001 again, save. If we go back there, we know it's 8001. Exit the application and tell Calypso, okay, run the project again. And if we log in and check out the settings, it's just like in the previous session. But look now what happens if instead of running the project again, we redeploy the project. So as you can see, the properties were set back again to the ones in the designer. And this happens either in the simulator or in the mobile device. For instance, when you update the project in runtime. An easy way to overcome this is to use any files to store your data. The goal is to store the values defined by the user in an even file and apply them when the project opens. So the first step would be to save those values in an ini file. So in our project, 
in the Save button. Let's call after this any write. Let's place it in the projects folder and let's give uh, the name of the project to the ini file. And now we add one for the server. Let's call this section communication profiles. Let's set the keyword as server and the value, the one that comes from the input. Now do the same thing for the port. That's it. We can save. So now that we store the values, whenever the user changes them, we need to load them in the opening of the project. Let's create a global action set for that. Therefore, if we ever change the first form or whatever, it's always available. So I'm going to create a global action set and call it load communication profile. And the goal is to load the values from the ini file and then apply them. But we need to be careful because the file m might not exist. So let's just save the global action set. Close the window. And let's copy the get synchro parameter actions. Paste. So we are retrieving the values that are currently in the profile. Let's store them in temporary variables. And now we can load the ones that are in the ini file. So I'm going to save and copy the ini write. Right click and convert to ini read. So all we have to do is change the target. And I'm going to select here the server. And I'm going to also say that the default value is the one on the temporary variable server. So actually we're saying, okay, please load the value of the file into this local variable, temporary variable. If it doesn't exist, use the one that it's already there. So now we do the same thing for the port. Don't forget the error management. Oh, I'm sorry. In this case, there's no error management. That's why Calypso hasn't adding anything. This is just a refresh that is missing. So we get the values from the profile. Then we get the values from the ini file. But if they don't exist, we use the ones that were already in the profile. So now all we need to do is the setting of the values into the profile. For that, we can copy the get and right click convert to set. That's it. That's all we have to do. Right click convert to set. Done. Now in the opening of the first form, we're going to call this global action set. That's it. Now let's try our project. I'm going to log in.
So I'm going to set it to 8001. Before saving it, let me go to the designer. Don't stop the simulator. Open the project folder on the simulator so you can see there's no ini file yet. And now I'm going to save. The ini file gets automatically created. We can even open it just to check it out. You can see the values there. And now we can exit, log out, and exit again, and redeploy the project. Not running the project again, but redeploying it. Configuration, communications, and you can see that the port is still the one that was defined in the ini file. Notice that what we've just done for the configuration to configure the communications could be done for database profiles and also for printer profiles. Also, don't forget that you can copy paste not only actions, but also controls and forms between projects. So you only need to develop this type of feature once and then you can copy it throughout all your projects. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about setting up profiles in runtime.